Hi everybody, Brooke here. Uh, sorry, I almost repositioned myself. So today I wanted to talk just a little bit about our dreams and what we can manifest um, because I've had a lot of people come to me lately and just be like, oh my God, like you always do what you wanna do and how do you do it and all this stuff. And in reality, I think a major component for me is actually the law of attraction. Actually, I know for sure that's a ma major component for me. Um, like for instance, I listen to a lot of Abraham Hicks. If you haven't heard of her, she basically talks about something called being in the vortex. And I know like when I first listened to it, I was like, what the heck? This is like some spiritual mumbo jumbo. What does it even mean? But really it's all about the energies that we put out and what we attract back in. So when I was going through a lot of my darkness, I know that I was putting out a lot of fear. I was putting out a lot of energy that only brought in and attracted more negative energy. So for instance, I was afraid of being abandoned and I attracted a lot of people who didn't want to commit or who were afraid to commit or who were afraid of someone who's clingy. So I basically attracted my biggest fear. Um, and I know, for instance, when I started being afraid with money, I would end up having things happen that would just take all my money, like car accidents or cars breaking down or um, you know just unexpected financial situations. So what I'm doing now is I am literally just believing in myself. And one of the main things in regards to that is visual visualization, can't speak, um, visualization. So I picture what I want and I feel the feelings that are associated with that before I even have it. Because I realize that the goal to getting what you want is not to need it to feel happiness, but to feel happiness prior to receiving it because then you're in a receptive mode where you can actually pull in what you're looking for because you already feel good without it. And that's what I've been doing and it's working. You know, as far as the mental health speaking goes, you know, I was, I was kind of concerned about my career. Luckily for me, my career has always been something that I could relax about and for the most part anyway, but I was worried like I'm at a dead end you know, how do I actually accomplish the things that I want? You know, I want to be an author. I want to be a TED Talk speaker. I want to do all of these things. How do I do it? So finally, I just felt it. You know, I envisioned myself being a big TED Talker and people saying my name and, you know, being a household name in some ways. And then I waited for the action to present itself. So one day I got inspired to go online and look up um, agencies that book speakers for mental health. And I found one and I was like, oh, let me just apply. You know, I probably won't get paid. It'll probably be, you know, volunteer work. They may not even get back to me, but this feels good. I'm going to do it. So I did it. And I literally got a call back, I think, in 30 minutes, within 30 minutes of sending in the application. And they were so excited, not only because of my story and because of my skills as an actor and, you know, they, they saw my YouTube channel, but also because of where I'm located. So it just so happens, you know, that I moved to this tiny little town in the Berkshires and they need someone like me on this in this area in Western Mass specifically because they have nobody over here so that was pretty awesome you know and that was like I attracted that on my own I attracted that by sending the energies out by not being concerned about the outcome and not having any expectations around it but just doing it and letting it feel good even though it's not within my you know reality in my 3d reality and I've been doing that a lot with other things too. My next goal is to do that with my relationships because, you know, I want to have babies. So that's like the next step for me. But I just wanted to send a quick little message, a quick little video about not having expectations. So basically to attract what you want, don't have expectations about outcome. Do things simply because they feel good. You know, if somebody asks you why you do something, I think most people are going to say because it makes me happy. And a lot of people think that if they get something, it will subsequently make them happy. But generally that's just not true because you get it and you're still unhappy because you're not just already happy. So something for me that I've been doing is being happy before I even get it. And then I notice when I get it, I'm just extra happy. So I'm already happy and then that just adds on to the happiness. So no expectations, don't have any, you know, pre conceptions of what the outcome is going to be in certain situations but just do things because they make you happy and I really truly believe that you'll attract what you want into your life because I've done it for myself and I've seen proof of it 
it, literally everywhere I turn. So you deserve it. Also, remember that you deserve it and you're worthy and that nothing can be taken away from you. There's plenty, you know, success and abundance to go around for everyone. If you are successful, it doesn't mean that you're taking away from someone else. And if somebody else is successful, that doesn't mean that they're taking away from you. So attract, be happy before you got it, and you will get it. It'll come to you. I promise.